Hey, it's Bob with FixMyPlayStation.com and in today's video we're going to demonstrate the official application technique for Arctic Silver 5. So this is a unit we've actually just finished repairing Yellow Light of Death on which means of course that the RSX graphics processor is overheated and come loose from the motherboard. We've reattached it. This was actually a reflow that we did here. Now just to be sure we called Arctic Silver. See, we've had posters on YouTube saying, oh, you're using too much, you're using too little, you should use the smear technique. No, you should spread it over the entire uh, heat spreader on each processor. So we went ahead and called Arctic Silver this week, and the technician there told us, without a doubt, he immediately knew what we were talking about. He named the cell processor and the RSX, he knew exactly what was going on. And he said, we wanted to use an amount about the size of the white area at the base of your pinky fingernail, if you can believe it. That's exactly what he told me. You want to use just that amount of area. At the, look at the, that light colored part of your pinky fingernail. That's about the area. And I used a little probably more than that. And about the thickness of a grain of rice, he said. So, okay. So we tested this a few times. I'm going to show you how it works. So we, we applied the Arctic Silver. Now, I'll explain in a little bit why we're using that much and not covering the entire processor. It's called spreading if you cover the whole, uh, the whole uh, heat spreader. But that's apparently not necessary straight from the horse's mouth, straight from Arctic Silver Incorporated. So we applied the thermal compound. Now what we did was, now this is an A model, one of the first models. One of the, fir the first three models have a similar setup with a completely removable heat sink. Okay, this is the first generation heatsink. Now what we did was we removed the fan completely. We pulled the fan out. Why? Because we wanted to be able to put our hands right on the back side of the heat blocks, these two aluminum blocks here, like radiator blocks, on the heatsink. We want to be able to directly press down on those and smash them into the thermal compound. Now, he said ideally they like to put the heat sink down and wiggle it and kind of smoosh it down into place, kind of like you're putting a, a, you know, a floor tile down. But you can't really do that because you've got this, this shield around uh, when, you're, when, you're re when you're reassembling the, uh, the system. You've got to put the, the heat shields down. So you've only got so much room once these blocks, these square blocks, fit into these square holes. There's only so much room to wiggle. So we remove the fan so we can at least put our hands on the back side of these blocks and press down. So that's what we're going to do. So we line up the heat sink blocks with the two processors, lay them down on top of the processors, okay, and now we're going to press down, and don't go totally crazy, but we want to kind of press down and wiggle a little bit if we can, press down on both of those both of those heat blocks. Okay. Now, once we've done it, and I'm not pressing all that hard here. I'm not standing on it, but just, you know, you want to kind of smoosh it in there a little bit. Now, you'd want to leave this here. Then, when you're reassembling the machine, you're going to put your fan back in and screw that in place and, you know, finish the reassembling process like we show in the other videos. But to show you what we're doing here, and actually Arctic Silver said practice this a couple of times. You're not using a whole lot. You can do seven PlayStation 3's with this one little three and a half gram tube. So you got plenty to experiment with, believe me. So actually, now that we, now you're using a lot less than we show in the original video, you could probably do 10 to 15 machines with this amount. So go ahead and put a little dab press the heat sink down okay and then because you're not covering the the whole spreader you don't have that that suction kinda like a boot stuck in the mud type of a phenomenon going on so you can lift this off again lift your heat sink off and take a look at how it's spread now it spreads the same way on the processors as it does on the heat sink blocks and what we're going for is roughly a dime to a nickel size spread. But what we're doing here, because we put that little blob down and we press the heat sink down the way we did, no air bubbles. That's what we're going for. We want a solid connection between the two metal surfaces. So practice this a couple of times. 
when you're done clean clean off you know each between each practice session clean this off use a little alcohol to completely clean the processor surfaces and the surfaces of the of the uh, heat sink blocks maybe do it two times and once you get a, a decent spread like that roughly the size of a nickel or so then you know when you're in it for the the, the official press when you finally put the heat sink down and you leave it in there you know don't peek on that last one leave it sealed put the machine back together and the reason that that RX Silver explained the reason why you want to uh, use or the reason you can get away with using such a small amount if you were to remove these heat spreaders you'd see that like in the, for the graphics processor the actual processor graphics processor is right in the middle and then you got some memory chips on the corners the heat radiates from the center outward so if the heat sink is doing its job the heat is going to come right out of the center into the heat sink and then get blown out the back by the fan so you don't actually have to cover the entire heat spreader to get this job done and again this is right from Arctic Silver's technicians themselves so you can do the spread technique but the problem with that is if it's not absolutely perfect a lot of times you have a lot of air bubbles and whatnot and the critical thing is to get coverage in the middle of those processors so there you have it right from Arctic Silver it's been a couple of years since we had talked to them so we thought we'd just give them a call and see what the current <clears throat> what their current uh, opinion was and they they were much more familiar with the PlayStation 3 this week than they were two years ago they sort of had some general ideas couple of years ago but this was uh, I felt really good about it when we hung up that we had the best technique thought I'd do a video if you any questions uh, either email us or post on YouTube or give us a call thanks